existence, development, peace and security. These are basic rights demanded by people all over the world. For over 60 years, China and the other developing countries have been striving together to achieve development through cooperation and promote human rights with the ultimate aim of building a community of shared future for human beings. South-South cooperation is, in essence, economic and technical cooperation among the developing countries in the Global South. South-South cooperation can trace its origins back to the Benton Conference of April 1955, when leaders of the developing countries got together to call for unity and cooperation. Following the Benton Conference in 1961, the Non-Aligned Movement was founded. Three years later, in 1964, the creation of the G77 mechanism officially marked the start of South-South cooperation. Along with political dialogue and financial cooperation, South-South cooperation promotes the exchange of knowledge and expertise through programs, projects and initiatives designed to solve specific problems faced by the countries of the Global South. Yet in some developing countries, the level of protection of economic, social and cultural rights still needs to be improved. To have a roof over your head, to have food on the table, to have proper sanitation, that are all elements of human dignity. And human dignity is the basis, the foundation of all human rights. It's very important to, con to have one co cooperation between all the countries to defend all the uh, human rights because it's part of the life, it's part of the progress, it's part of the, all the uh, development of the countries. The first South-South Human Rights Forum was held in Beijing in December 2017. The forum served as a platform for the international community and the Global South to discuss the prevailing situation, the challenges and the advances in human rights cooperation. Chinese President Xi Jinping sent a congratulatory message to the forum. In it, he stressed that the global development of human rights could only be achieved by the developing countries working together. He said that the Chinese people would like to work in concert with people in other developing countries and beyond to advance development through cooperation, promote human rights through development, and build a community of shared future for human beings. The two-day forum on the theme of building a community of shared future for human beings, new opportunity for South-South human rights development was attended by 300 guests, including scholars and representatives from 70 countries and international organizations. The discussions culminated in the adoption of the Beijing Declaration. The declaration reflected the forum's consensus of thought and the collective view on human rights shared by the developing countries. The theme of the 2019 forum was Diversity of Civilizations and Global Development of Human Rights. It was acclaimed as an important platform for promoting development and human rights progress in the developing countries. The 2021 South-South Human Rights Forum is being held on December 8, 2021 in Beijing. Co-hosted by the State Council Information Office and Ministry of Foreign Affairs of China and organized by CGTN's think tank, the forum will feature discussions on the theme, Putting People First and Global Human Rights Governance. At this third gathering, guests and participants will exchange views on South-South cooperation and human rights development and explore practical ways of building a community of shared future for human beings.